So welcome back. So continue from here. I'm going to click on the extrude tool. I extrude this by 42. Click on OK. So if you look at this portion, it is not quite curved like this. It looks straight. And from here we can see radius 3. So what I need to do is I help build this up. Click on fillet, specify three. Click on this top section, click on the bottom section. Then OK. We have the curved part as needed. Now, now I need to draw the middle circle. So to draw this middle circle, since this down part is to stay here, and this circle needs to meet with this circle. The length from here to here is 32, from here to here is 10. So that means from here to this center is going to be 22. So we are going up by 22 from the center. I'm going up by 22. And the circle of same diameter 12.5 as in the previous video. I delete this line, it's not needed. This sketch. Extrude. Cut. It's going to cut. Then, okay. So with this, we have the two diagrams that are needed for the assembling drawing. All other components are going, are going to be getting from the content center. So I save this. Shift, then click on Home, New, Standard IAM, Create. This is an assembly file. So I'm creating an assembly file now to assemble all the components together. So I've drawn the component 1 and the component 2. So now I click on the assembly file to assemble this component. So First thing to do is you go, you click on place. It brings the drawn drawing. Look at this. This is the part one. Look at this. So you drop this down. So you click, press escape. And you place this again. Part two or part one. That's all we need now. Left click, press OK. No, part two, part one, open, drop, click, then left click and click on OK. So, with this now, I want to on strain and to assemble this drawing. So I click on constraint. Constrain this base to this. I can constrain this base to this. Click on apply. So I effectively constrained this. Now The next thing to do, you click on place, place from contact center. 